Welcome back, everybody. It's Bean and Bagel. We uh, review food if you've never visited our channel before, and we do other stuff occasionally. Today, we are at, rumor has it, the only fancy restaurant in Dillon, Texas, Applebee's. <laughs> doing the brew pub waffle fries and they look amazing mm, they do look amazing look at that all that gooey stuff on there so tell them what's in it brig well it has a blend of melted cheddar cheeses blue moon white cheddar beer cheese and crispy applewood smoked bacon and it's mm. served with ranch I like how it's like looks like seasoned waffle fries too. Not just plain. This is a big old chunk, but I'm gonna try to carefully mm -hmm. dip it in the ranch. That's good. They give yeah. you the pub cheese on the side and you kind of pour it on there. Mm. Right away though, I get good seasoning on the fries. Mm -hmm. It's not overly seasoned. I get the bacon, I get the cheese. Mm -hmm. I think it's very well done. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Tastes like really good waffle fries. They're nice and thick. Yep. They're not like super chewy, but there's a mix of chewy and crispy fry, which is a good uh, thing to have in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Your cheese is really good. Crap. <laughs> mm. It's a little on the salty side, I'm gonna say. Really? Yeah. When you get everything, like the bacon with the cheese with the fries, it's a little mm. bit too salty, but it's still very good. It's, I mean, I'm not mad about it, but just the combo of everything. And I dipped it in the ranch too, you didn't, so maybe the ranch was contributing to the saltiness. Yeah. Mm. I don't really need this kind of stuff with ranch, that's just the way I like to eat um, these kind of things. But if I were to put a rating on it, try it or walk by it, I'd say try it. I'd say go out right now today and try it. Wow. Today? Today. <laughs> that's a pretty strong endorsement. I think it's really good. I would give it a try it as well. Um, just whenever you get around to going to Applebee's, which you may or may not, but I think it's a good addition. Yeah. So I like it. And the ranch is really good too. It seems like it's like a um, homemade type of ranch. This item is brand new to their menu too, and it's available nationwide. So if you can't find it in your area, then be mad at the management, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that's not what they advertise. Yeah. One thing I wanted to mention also was my little, is it cabacle? Is that the right word? Debacle. Debacle. <laughs> cabacle, debacle, it's all the same. <laughs> With the blondie, Applebee's had a really good maple nut blondie and they got rid of it. Now they have a butter pecan blondie that they replaced a caramel apple blondie or something like that that they used to have when they got rid of the maple nut one. The caramel one was a bomb, like <laughs> not good at all in my opinion. I tried the butter pecan one. And that one's closer to the maple nut. I think there's still something off with the recipe. I don't mm. know if it's the maple that's missing because of the maple nut. Mm -hmm. The butter pecan one's good. I would say you could try that if you're interested and you're wondering where the blondie went. But don't get your hopes up a lot because it still doesn't compare to whatever the recipe was with the maple nut one. But yeah. I just needed to kind of throw that out there because I was a huge fan of the Blondie and I was hugely disappointed when <laughs> they got rid of it. 
Yeah, I mean, you would want to go to Applebee's just for that blondie. I did. So back in the day, that was that was a sad few years of your life that <laughs> you haven't had the blondie. That's funny. Um. So yeah, we saw the butter pecan one is on the menu now, and I agree. I don't think it's as good as the maple one. So they got to put the maple back in, but they it's do. not bad. So. Mm -hmm. But anyways. Anyway, that's my take on. The fries, the blondie, whatever. Greg's uh, advice for your life is to go out and get it today. Word. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! See ya.